Yeah. Uh, did you hear about the boiling water shooting incident? The blooming water shooting instrument. I, no, I didn't. What, what is that? Boiling, boiling. Oh, yeah. I watched the video on that. Yeah. Okay. I was just wanted to see or, or hear. Do you think it's uh, justified or unjust as a uh, police officer doing that? Okay. He, this is what I'll say. Okay. Um, fucking Christ. Yeah. Okay. Myron will, <laughs> Myron will support me here. Okay. Keep me sane. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. When you find people that are exceptionally talented or you find people that are in incredibly dangerous situations, the Hollywood portrayal of this is that like a really good athlete, a really smart thinker, a really good cop is somebody that has like cat-like reflexes, the aim of like James Bond, the mind of Einstein, right? That this is what it means to be like an effective uh, law enforcement officer, secret service person, whatever the fuck. The reality is, is the people that are the most successful in life, this applies to, this applies to every area of life too, okay? It's not the people that are able to make these like lightning fast decisions and figure out what they need to do on the fly. It's people that prepare themselves and put themselves in, in situations and environments where they can succeed, all right? When a police officer is dealing with, uh, with, with, I don't even wanna say a suspect, but really with anybody that they're not fully comfortable with, there are reasons why cops say, hey, let me see your hands, or if they're doing a, 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 even a small detainment investigation, they'll say like, can you come and sit over here on the sidewalk? Can you just like keep your hands on your knees? If they want, maybe they'll zip tie, maybe they'll handcuff you, like just, just so I can see what's going on. The reason why you do that is because you never wanna be in a situation where an old lady has a boiling fucking pot of water that you send into the kitchen and is about to fucking throw it at you and you're like, well, fuck, right? At the time that the lady goes to throw the boiling pot of water, am I very critical of the cop shooting her? Not, I mean, she's close enough to do some fucking damage if she gets a whole boiling pot of water. And I'm like, I'm not, like, at that point, I kind of get it, but there's no way that it should have gotten to that point. I have no fucking idea why law enforcement would allow a lady who seems fucking insane, and she has seemed insane up to that point, why would they let her walk to the kitchen unaccompanied to turn off a boiling pot of water on a stove when they have no fucking idea what's going on? I think that the officers just that the handling of that situation up and they put themselves in a situation where they had to make an impossible call uh, on like shooting a lady who's got a huge pot of boiling water that she's trying to throw at this cop and it was just i think it was fucked in that way so when people analyze the shooting usually when cops make mistakes it's not because they made the wrong split second decision it's usually because they weren't being careful in advance to make sure that they had the people that they needed sitting on the sidewalk their hands cuffed in advance to, to control the situation essentially that was my feeling on it yeah and then Myron can agree or disagree with the general uh, specific. Yeah, I, I, agree, I agree with some of it. I, I think uh, I think it's a clean shoe, contrary to popular belief. I think it's a 100 percent clean shoe. And I'll tell you why. Um, and I can tell you guys this from being former law enforcement, understanding use of use of force and using lethal force. Um, you are not judged on 2020 hindsight. You're judged on the facts that were visible to you when you decided to pull that trigger. So this is why, it, which is this happens all the time. A police officer will shoot someone. Uh, that what they thought had was a gun because it but ends up being a toy gun. Why? Because they had no knowledge that it was a toy gun until after the person was shot. But they were operating. Uh, they don't. We don't judge them on 2020 hindsight, mm -hmm. right? What facts available to them when they showed up on the scene. In this case, uh, it's important to note that they go to the house and the woman has this boiling water, and she takes the boiling water and she doesn't follow lawful commands. He's, they're telling her, "Hey, stop! Don't don't uh, grab that water. Don't throw it on us. Blah blah blah. I'll shoot you." and she still continues to disobey the lawful orders, then she ducks down and the officers can't see her. Now, you're in their house. You don't know what she has in one of these cupboards. You don't know if she has a weapon there, et cetera. Uh, so they go ahead and proceed forward to make sure they can see her hands. In law enforcement, they always teach you, you need to see the hands at all times. He couldn't see her hands. When he sees her, she's coming back up like this, and she's about to hurl the water on him. And on top of that, she says, Jesus rebukes you. Well, I don't know about you guys, but anytime someone says something like Jesus rebukes you, something's about to come your fucking way that you're probably not going to like. 